for a beginner that's just entering the crypto market, what is the value prop of Solana? Um, I think it could be shown with a, a, a little bit of data. Um, first of all, you take things like product market fit, best, cheapest, fastest solution, most breadth of dApps. Uh, people go to where the user experience is best, to where it's most features, where they can trade frictionlessly or play with meme coins or whatever else. Uh, you want to find that chain that has all of that. And one thing you know on crypto as well, users are very fickle. They will bounce from Matic to Arbitrum to Base from week to week to week. There's no loyalty in crypto, none whatsoever. Uh, and we're see we've seen a lot of that happen too. We saw one of the things that I spent a lot of time working on is, you know, the older technology, the older names, even though they have the Lindy effect, which should give them staying power in crypto, it doesn't matter because the newest technology does best. Again, best, cheapest, fastest, most secure is uh, the place where things are at. And I know that like Solana, for example, it has more daily active users uh, than far more, like four times the amount of daily active users than Ethereum and a lot more than some other chains. It does more transactions than all other chains combined. And my thesis was back in 2021, there would be a black hole that consumes everything because the way markets work, you don't have many winners. Like how many Amazons are there? How many Googles are there? How many Apple iPhone makers are there? Um, the winner takes most. And the same thing I assumed would apply to crypto, despite many people <laughs> saying it probably wouldn't. And, and here we are. So that's kind of how I think things will shake out. It's clear that the developers, the users are choosing Solana from everything we've seen this year and prior years. The FUD on Solana is it's more centralized than a Cardano or something else. Does that matter in the long run? Well, it depends how you uh, define centralized. It, it shuts so, down and or they can shut it down when it gets overloaded. No, they, they, they can't. Educate so, me. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is part of it. And if, if, you know, one of the rumors that it was flying around from some silly person last year, they say, oh, there's a switch to turn it off. No, there's not. There's validators. And one of the key things to look at when you look at a chain is what's called Nakamoto coefficient. And that is the minimum number of validators you need to control to control half of the chain. Okay. So the Nakamoto coefficient for Solana is about 22 right now. For Cardano, I think it's about 20. For Ethereum, it's gone down since they moved to proof of stake away from the mining uh, world. The most decentralized chain of all is Bitcoin by far. But one of the challenges is that they've had with outages is it takes so long to get all the validators to reboot if there's a problem, like a bug in code. And most of the stuff, the outages have been caused by bugs in code because they're focused so much on, on speed. And I think of it as, you know, people going around the track on bicycle, and then you got a Formula One car going around the track at 220 miles an hour. The odds of the faster car crashing is much higher than the bicycle going around at 15 miles an hour. And that's the way to think of this. So when it comes to them turning it off, they can't. They need consensus from the validators. And that takes sometimes four hours, five hours, eight hours to do to get the majority to reset or reapply a patch or a bug. And the issue right now is there's one and a half million people hitting the chain every day. They're doing about 60 transactions each on average. And that's making it very busy. Uh, there's also other stuff. There's new mining protocols. I think there was a validator that created a new mining protocol called OR, which is bringing things to a halt. The meme coin revolution is driving a lot of traffic, but it's good that they are being battle tested now to get to the place where you have a billion people in crypto. And that is what's important. And that's, you always have to look ahead to where the puck is going to be three to five years down the line. And that's what they're getting ready for right now. My audience is is a long-term audience. We're looking for like what's going to have value in five years, 10 years. Would you, James, humor me and steel man why something like a Cardano or an Algorand would win over Solana? Um, I'm not going to say anything bad about any other chain because that just results in a lot of toxicity. 
But I just look at data. Uh, we have spent years building models that analyze every chain across 60 to 100 different parameters. And the key is, um, you know, you said uh, the key point you said was for the next five years, we don't know what chain will be there six months from now. I mean, Bitcoin could go to zero, Solana could go to zero, a new chain could be developed by some kid in a basement with some AI help and develop this new chain that runs at 1 million TPS, uh, costs is free, and it's completely decentralized and everybody loves it. That's that's what we have to prepare for. I always say people need to keep their tap dancing shoes on because we don't know what's coming next. And what's super scary is this whole AI societal impact that's happening. Everything is changing very fast. The world today will be radically different in 24 months. And the world is not ready for that. Nobody if, can wrap their heads around it. If Bitcoin clears at least your conservative price projection for the cycle, where does that put Solana? <laughs> Things get crazy. So my rich, like I bought a lot of Solana at eight bucks during the big dip and crash. My bull target was a hundred dollars back then. I said this, I see Solana going from eight dollars to a hundred bucks, and now it's one seventy five, one eighty. And when I look at uh, my super conservative target for Solana is three sixty, uh, and that's making three percent of crypto market cap, and crypto market cap goes to three trillion dollars. That's a simple back of the napkin model. Uh, in terms of other price targets, if the, the big game changer here is We've already seen what happens with a chain that is full of flaws, but still handles more transactions and users than any other chain, or even all chains combined. What happens if that chain gets 10x faster? That is the scary situation. So there's a thing called Fire Dancer they're working on. If they pull that off, um, that becomes, you know, instead of have running at what they are, 3,000 TPS right now, it'll go to 50 to 100,000 TPS. And when you get to 50,000 TPS, that's enough to support, you know, that billion users technically, as long as they're not doing more than 100 transactions a day. So I want to talk about AI, but is there any slides or charts that I'm missing for these L1s or can we move to AI? Uh, we, we can move to AI. It's just data slides, which kind of aren't that interested. Well, I have one slide if you want. Give me one, give me one. Let me see. Um, da, 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 portion of screen. Hopefully it still remembers the portion. This just shows you the perspective of just year to date of the amount of transactions on Solana. And it's just up and to the right where everything else is kind of flat. And there is a new chain coming in there as well. One of the S's below. They're actually growing, but what's super interesting is base. How base has come from obscurity. <laughs> it's a one node centralized layer two on ETH from Coinbase. I think it runs at around 26 TPS and they are doing very well. They are actually smoking a lot of the other L2s. So that's an interesting one to watch, but there is no token for it. And people think, oh, I'm going to go buy base, but you can't, at least yet. People, right love, people love that Coinbase brand name, I would guess, is why they like that. <laughs> yeah, and, and people should be upset with Coinbase because, you know, during the most important market times it's often not available <laughs> and That's there's true. a lot of uh, a lot of tin hat uh, theories regarding why that is but we won't go into that the full interview drops in a few days click subscribe we drop one video per day keeping you informed see you tomorrow